Okay, so today we're going to talk about micronutrients. We just talked about macros. The micronutrients are a little different. We want to make sure we're not missing any of these. So how do we make sure we don't miss any of these? We're going to use this app called Chronometer. And now it's free on the desktop, but I think you have to pay for it on your phone. But this app is basically a calorie tracker. You can see your macronutrients and the calories you consumed, but we're not counting calories here. The great thing about chronometer is it gives you these tables of vitamins and minerals depending on the food you input and it tells you how much of each you've got. Now you don't have to be super specific measuring everything to the gram. You could just do okay about this much of salmon, about this much of potatoes. And what you'll basically see is your diet probably has a couple holes in it. So an example of that is this full day of eating where a lot of the stuff is great but then you're missing out on a little bit of folate and you're missing out on a bunch of vitamin C. So you're going to look at this and see where you're lacking and then add it in. So if you work with me, I look at this and I see where we could add in foods and we talk about what foods you actually like to eat so it's enjoyable. But if you want to do it yourself, I created a micronutrient cheat sheet and these are my favorite sources of all the vitamins and minerals that we saw So if you see you're lacking in one you could check this list and say, okay, let's add this one to our diet And now don't worry about going two to three times over the RDI Especially if you've been malnourished as a kid like you were eating cereal You weren't really eating organic whole foods you were doing the pop tarts But that doesn't mean eat like 10 pounds of beef liver a day too much of a good thing is still bad So don't overdo it so you can find the micronutrient cheat sheet on the next page. I hope you guys enjoy.